Hi all you jigsaw puzzle fanatics out there, it's Shannon and welcome back to the Persnickety Puzzler. First, I want to start off by saying that today is the one year anniversary of when I started my YouTube channel and I want to thank everyone who recently participated in my jigsaw puzzle giveaway celebrating my 1000 YouTube subscribers milestone. I really appreciate all of you out there who have been watching, commenting, and subscribing. And I had a lot of fun doing this giveaway. So much fun, in fact, that there is a really good chance that I will be doing another giveaway in the future. You're just going to have to keep watching to find out. One of my giveaway rules is that I ask my viewers to come up with suggestions as to what kind of videos they would like to see on this channel. And one of the suggestions was for me to do a video on my favorite jigsaw puzzle artists. Well, I had already planned to do a video on this topic. So seeing that suggestion moved it to the top of the list. So today I will be sharing part one of my five part series on my favorite jigsaw puzzle artists. Now you are probably asking yourself, part one of five, is she crazy? Well, if you watch my channel at all, you will know that I have a huge jigsaw puzzle collection. So that means that I love a whole lot of jigsaw puzzle artists. I went through my collection and came up with 70 artists whose work I adore. And instead of filming a marathon video featuring all 70 artists, I decided to break this up into manageable chunks. Most of the artists are artists whose puzzles I already own, but there are a handful of artists whose work I do not own, but would love to get my grubby paws on. The vast majority of these puzzles are still in print, but there are some that are out of print and the only way you're going to be able to find those puzzles is probably on eBay. I have included links in the description below to all of the artist puzzles in this video, along with any coupon codes that may apply. I decided that the most logical way to go about this, to get through all of these artists, is to do it by alphabetical order so I will be starting with the letter A. Before we get started, I do want to mention that quite a few of these puzzles are still wrapped in the original cellophane from when I purchased them. And I am not going to be removing the cellophane from all of these puzzles. I'm just not going to do it. So I apologize in advance for any reflections or glare that you may see. And to make up for it, I will be showing you pics of the artist puzzles as I talk about each artist. Let's get started. The first jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I adore is the Swedish artist Matthias Adolfsson. Matthias is currently on the Haya Jigsaw Puzzle brand. This particular puzzle is called Music Maniac and it is 1000 pieces. What I love about this puzzle is that it reminds me of a control room at a radio station. And I was a DJ back in college. So when I saw this puzzle, I was immediately drawn to it. I thought the artwork was amazing. So love this one. The next artist whose work I adore is the Canadian artist, Marion Arbona. This puzzle is called Interstellar Travel and it is on the Madeir Jigsaw Puzzle brand. I love this artwork. I think it is amazing. And I have discovered that most of the artists on the Madeir brand are really talented artists. I own several of their puzzles and I do plan on doing a review of the Madeir brand in the future. The next artist whose work I adore is the French artist Marie Amalia Bartolini. 
This particular puzzle is called The Peaceful Jungle. It is 2,000 pieces, and it is on the Clementoni Jigsaw Puzzle brand. I think this artwork is stunning. Another puzzle by Marie Amalia Bartolini. This one is called Wildlife Paradise. It is 2,000 pieces on the Haya Jigsaw Puzzle brand. Gorgeous artwork. The next artist whose work I think is incredible is the Ukrainian artist Irina Bast. This puzzle is called African Beauty. It is 1,000 pieces on the Magnolia Jigsaw Puzzle brand. When I saw this puzzle for the first time, I was in awe. I think this artist is incredibly gifted. Okay, moving right along. The next artist whose work I adore is the Moldavian cartoon jigsaw puzzle artist, Rita Berman. She is on the Haya Jigsaw Puzzle brand. This particular puzzle is 1,000 pieces and it is called Magic C. I put it together and it was pure joy. Loved it. Loved the colors, loved the art. Oh my goodness, I adore her. My favorite kind of puzzles to do are cartoon puzzles. So you're going to be seeing a lot of cartoon artists among all of my favorite jigsaw puzzle artists and Rita is way up on the list. Another one by Rita Berman. This one is called Exotic Safari. It is 2,000 pieces on the Haya Jigsaw Puzzle brand. Love the colors, love everything about it. Another one by Rita Berman. This one is called Go Camping. It is 2,000 pieces on the Haya brand. Haven't gotten to put this one together yet. There's so many puzzles I haven't had time to put together yet, but I love her work. And this last one is another one by Rita Berman. It's 1,500 pieces on the Haya Jigsaw Puzzle brand. It is called Pati Sri and I can't wait. One of these days, I'm gonna put them together. Okay, next up. This next artist is an American artist. Her name is Kathy Desarn Baynett. This puzzle is 1,000 pieces on the Pomegranate Jigsaw Puzzle brand. It is called Morning. I loved this when I saw it. I love the colors, the composition. I just loved it. It does look like it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to put together, but you know, I'm up for it one of these days. The next puzzle artist whose work I adore is the American artist, Charles Lynn Bragg. This particular puzzle is called City Limits and it is on the Pomegranate Jigsaw Puzzle brand. It is a 1000 piece puzzle. I think this artwork is incredible. I do not own any puzzles by this artist, but he is definitely on my wish list. The next jigsaw puzzle artist whose work I adore is the artist Maria Brzezowska from Poland. This is a 500 piece puzzle called The Birth of a Dream on the Art and Fable Jigsaw Puzzle brand. Loved it. Next up is the artist Marek Brzezowski. He is the father of Maria Brzezowska. So he is also from Poland. This is a 500 piece puzzle called Wanderers Night Songs on the Art and Fable Jigsaw Puzzle brand. Absolutely love the artwork. Next up is the artist Tim Bulmer from the UK. 
This is a 1,000 piece puzzle on the All Jigsaw Puzzles brand called Dogs. I really like this guy's artwork. It's comic strip like, but painterly at the same time. And he has quite a few puzzles on the All Jigsaw Puzzles brand. And I own several of them. I really like his art. All right, next up. Another jigsaw puzzle artist who I love. I love everything this guy has ever done. This is the English artist John Bergerman. This particular puzzle is called Doodle Village. It is 1,000 pieces on the Haya Jigsaw Puzzle brand. What I love about him is that he draws these doodle monsters that are so happy and so joyful and colorful. It is always a joy to put his puzzles together. I own quite a few of his puzzles and I'm, I just buy everything he does. Another one by John Bergerman. This one is called Hi There. It is 2000 pieces and it's just wonderful. This particular puzzle is out of print. So the only way you're probably going to be able to find this one is on eBay, but he's so worth it. All right. We're making progress. This next jigsaw puzzle artist is the American artist, Kayla Carlson. This puzzle is called Trippy Picnic. It is 1,000 pieces on the Blue Kazoo Jigsaw Puzzle brand. When I saw this artwork, I thought it was so charming. So charming. I put it in my cart, bought it. I own quite a few Blue Kazoo puzzles, and I will be reviewing this brand in the future. All right, next. This artist is the artist Soon Cho from South Korea. This puzzle is called Kitchen Life. It is 1,000 pieces on the Soonness brand. This puzzle was my number one favorite puzzle that I did in all of 2023. And I did over 200 puzzles. I loved everything about it. It's a cartoon image, the packaging, the box, the presentation, the box that the puzzles come in, the packaging that the puzzles come in is incredible. Everything about this brand is wonderful and I will be reviewing them in the future. Love them, love her. She just had a PNP featuring three new puzzles by her that are in a different style, but super colorful and fun. And I just bought all three of them. Couldn't resist. All right, next artist. The next artist is from Istanbul. His name is Nihal Sifter. This is called The Tale of a Tree. It is 1000 pieces on the Magnolia Jigsaw Puzzle brand. Love this style of artwork. Nihal has two more puzzles on the Magnolia brand. One is called Pier City that I do not have. I wish I owned. I'm going to be getting. Everything he does is amazing. And another artist that I love. This artist is the American artist Robert Stephen Connett. This puzzle is 1,000 pieces. It is called Mantis Mundi, and it is on the Art and Fable Jigsaw Puzzle brand. Now, normally, I would not be drawn to a puzzle with a bunch of insects on it, but this artwork is spectacular. Had to get it. He also has another puzzle on Art and Fable. It's called Microcosmic Garden. I looked it up recently and it is currently sold out, but they do plan on getting more of these puzzles over the summer. 
Next up is the American artist Bob Kuntz. This particular puzzle is called Take a Break. It is 1,000 pieces on the Haya Jigsaw Puzzle brand. I love everything about this puzzle. The colors, the composition, gorgeous. Now, Bob has two more puzzles on the Haya Jigsaw Puzzle brand. They're both fabulous. One in particular that I really love is a rabbit and it's gorgeous. It is called Ever Alert and I'm going to be purchasing it in the near future. Love his work. This next artist that I love is from South Africa and his name is RJ Crisp. This is a 1000 piece puzzle called the Pink Pirate on the Piatnik Jigsaw Puzzle brand. I put this puzzle together in the last several months and had an absolute ball putting it together. It's a cartoon image, a really fun cartoon Im image with tons of color, so happy, I loved it. Now, Crisp used to be on the Haya Jigsaw Puzzle brand a few years back. He put out quite a few puzzles and they're all out of print. But if you like this style at all, you could probably go to eBay and see if you can find any of his old puzzles from the Haya brand. I am not sure if he has any more puzzles currently out in the marketplace. So if you know something that I don't know, let me know in the comments below. And the last puzzle from part one of my five part series is this puzzle from the artist PJ Crook. He's an English artist. This puzzle is called Tuesday. It is on the Pomegranate Jigsaw Puzzle brand and it is 1000 pieces. I love this from the moment I saw it and put it in my cart right away. That's a wrap to part one of my five part series on my favorite jigsaw puzzle artists. Just a reminder, I have included links in the description below to all of the artist puzzles in this video, including some coupon codes that may help you out. So I would definitely look in the description and check those out. Who are your favorite puzzle artists? I would love to hear about it because you might turn me on to a puzzle artist I have never even heard of. I know that there are fantastic artists out in the wild. Don't be shy. Let us all know. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you next time.